What uh, do you think has been your greatest career achievement to date? Oh, hard. Very hard. Um, I've enjoyed so many things. I've loved the theater I've done. I've thoroughly enjoyed a lot of theater. Um, all the way back from, you know, early, some of those early uh, um, matinee theaters and Twilight Zones. For, and then as I got the good fortune to develop broader spread there with, with the later television from Twilight Zone on through, um, you know, I've just had a lot of highs. I, I, I can't pick out any one. I think maybe it, film, theater, and television, I think the thing, one of them that stands really up there is execution of Private Slovak. I really uh, strongly vibrate to that. And uh, the experience of having done that was, was amazing. Um, and it had that kind of effect on people too, everybody, not just me. That was a major one. And uh, no, I can't say there were, there, there were many others that did. I, I loved doing Lincoln. I thought Lincoln was great. Any career regrets? Oh yeah, oh sure, um, for doing some things for the wrong reasons. Um, after Last American Hero and uh, um, uh, Slovak, Dino De Laurentiis came to me with a script and offered a lot of money. I was told this was a terribly important career move to do a film about rape, a lipstick. And I suspected, knowing his films, that it would come out uh, could be rather an unsavory film. And I said, I don't like the script. And he said, no, no, because I was um, sort of hot at that time, these two hits. He says, Monty, you are wonderful with actors. You are an actor, an artist, right? but you need Dino to make you a star. I turn you into a star. You do this. You do what you want. You get another writer to work on the script, but you work with Dino. I make you a star. So I got seduced into this. And I also like the idea of taking the subject matter of rape and, and what it had meant all through since earliest times, that the woman, it's a woman's fault, usually from biblical times when the woman was stoned if she was raped, to what they're doing right now in, in, the, in the Middle East and in, in Muslim countries where women in really backward areas are horribly treated, mutilated, done terrible things to if they have anything that's called illicit sex in some jury of dirty old men's minds. And so I thought, yeah, I want to do this. And I got a wonderful writer and we worked on the script and got quite happy with it. And we did it and uh, I worked with a, a, a totally un, a wonderful cast because Margot Hemingway was the top model. She was perfect for the top model character in the piece. And, and I got her sister out of seeing a picture of Marielle Hemingway in, her wallet, I got her to come and test. And she was marvelous. She was just a natural at 13. I mean, I had a lot of 13 year old ex, uh, uh, about to be stars. Molly Ringwald was another that, that was 13, turned 13 in my set, Diane Lane. And uh, so, um, no, I, I really have had some marvelous kinds of uh, accidental achievements that have come along that have been largely serendipitous. How would you like to be remembered? Well, I think uh, for all the wonderful uh, dividends I've gotten out of a career, travel, wonderful uh, places to go, people to work with, materials, I, I, I think the most important center for me has been to be able to do things about things that mattered, things that had something to do with the real world. But uh, as I mentioned before, what we call with the actors is, is the crunch, the thing that brings uh, the crisis in somebody's life when they make a choice that is a fateful choice, sometimes a fatal choice. That's why uh, Profiles in Courage had such meaning to me because of the Kennedy situation I mentioned. But that's why most of the things I've talked about with enthusiasm have been about things that matter, about people's doing things for the right reasons frequently unpopular things or dangerous things or fatal things that they have dared to do that's brought them to the right to the up to the line and where they had to cross it. I love that. I think that's terrific. It brings the ultimate out of the actor and it turns the crew on. The crew responds wonderfully well when there's when it's about something. They get imbued with that. 
the, so that the community of working with the actors and the crew, um, hopefully you have supportive producers uh, in the background, and sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. But the main thing is that community of attitude doing stuff that you consider to be important.